Hi, my name is Egal with Response Crew Handyman. Today, I want to talk to you about main shot after your house, what's a gate valve, and what's a ball valve. But before that, let me explain to you what's going on. So do you understand that your house is under risk of water damage at all times? Yes, it is. Water is coming in from the city. The city has its own shut off valve that's in the open position as long as you pay your bill. Water is coming to the house. At that point, it splits, either to the house or to the irrigation system. There should be a shut off valve over there. Not only that it's code, it also makes sense. Then the water flows into your house, and before most appliances, there's going to be a shutoff valve. And what do I mean appliance? A faucet, a water heater, dishwasher. That, but what happens if that shutoff valve fails? Water starts to drip, then it's going to become a leak, then your cabinets are ruined, and so all of a sudden you have water on the floor. The solution is, you run to your shutoff valve and you shut off the water. But where, do you even know where your shutoff valve is? you know how it functions? That's what I want to talk about right now. You're going to look for a valve that either looks like this or looks like this. And you have to test it too to make sure that you understand that that is the exact, that is the valve that we, we want to tackle. We don't want to tackle the water to the irrigation system. We want to tackle the water to your house. If you don't know how to, which one this is, now is a great time to maybe approach a neighbor, um, call a plumbing company, call a handyman company. We could even do it over the phone with a Zoom call or FaceTime, walk around, we'll point it out, show it to you which one it is. I hear that also the fire department could come out and um, teach you how to shut off the water to the house. You want to test it. You want to shut it off, go inside, make sure the water is shut off in the house, the water's not running. This is a gate valve. A gate valve is basically a screw. When you screw it to the right, you're shutting off the water. To the left, you're opening it. The issue with the gate valve is that you're screwing it and screwing it and screwing it and you're not really sure if you hit the end if, um, until you really test the water. And then you get to a point where, boy, I can't even turn it anymore, but the water is still flowing. Which that basically means is that there's stuck stuff, stuff stuck in the pipe itself, in the, the, um, in the gate valve itself. This is because uh, the way it's built, too many flaws, there's room for um, hard water, the um, calcium to build up on it, Maybe this something was in the pipe, it got stuck in, in, the, in the way it's kind of shaped, it has like a, it needs to go through stuff. Um, it's a cheaper product, it's why builders put it um, to begin with. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, it's rated for three years, so it, it, it works for the first three years, should have no issues. The reality is though, three years is not really um, a long lifespan when it comes to um, a, a house. And um, if you have one of these at your home, it's, I strongly recommend that it's um, time to replace it. What do you replace it with? You replace it with a ball valve. This is a much better design. Um, you can, if you can see, it actually goes through the whole, um, the whole pipe, just, it's a straight flow. There's no angles or anything like that. It's got two positions. It's really clear when it's on and when it's off. Right now it's in an on position. When you turn it at, a, at an angle like that, it is off, that's it, it's really simple. Um, rated for 17 years, it's a much better product. Um, so yeah, if you have one of these, if you have a gate valve, you should really consider replacing it to a ball valve. Me as a handyman, when I approach a house and it's got a gate valve, I don't touch it, we shut off the water at the city. I know that most plumbers have the same practice. The issue with us is that if we touch it and then it didn't shut off the valve, the water and now we're turning it back but the water flow is not the same we might have broke it but we really didn't break it it was broken ahead of time we're just the last ones to touch it one last note for those who want to do it yourself um, there is the same product in a shark bite so um, a shark bite is a you don't need to do welding which is what these require um, you just push it onto the pipe and it'll stick onto the pipe and um, um, you know for the most part they're a pretty safe product not a huge fan of them, but um, they are getting more and more popular. I haven't tried one in a while, so maybe that's why I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, this is not the only part that you're going to need to replace your main valve. You're going to need a little bit more. You're going to need probably some piping, a coupling, which is a shark, val a shark bite. Um, so just keep all of that in mind that you come to do this yourself. I would start this early in the morning and have a plumber's phone number handy just in case something doesn't go the way you expect it to go. Thanks, Egal from Response Crew. Look us up online. Read our reviews, um, read our blog. Happy to share more.